I think a lot of us, we, we kind of take for granted what we have, even though um, we may be going through some tough times, right? But I think it's when we kind of step back and take a bigger picture at our lives and say, okay, we still have a lot of things, right? If you're, you know, when I was sick with ulcerative colitis, or at least I still had every part of my body was functioning. Other than that, right? Every other part was functioning okay, <laughs> right? And um, yeah, I still yeah, have... Right. So I get it. On yeah. my worst day, on my worst day ever, I just say to myself, it it could be worse. Uh-huh. It could be without the use of my arms or legs, or you know, other people have it much worse. And that's kind of where I try to get to when I feel sorry for myself on my sad pain days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so yeah, just, just yeah, thinking that yeah, it could be worse. Then you feel better. And you, you, you feel like, well, we're all on this journey, right? We all kind of have a different point in it. And um, it's not really, um, you know, a lot of us focus on where we should be or where we were, but it's really the present that is really, really matters and, and feeling and looking forward to where you're going to go, right? We need to change our, our concept of, of the timeline, right? When we focus too much of, on the past, that you know, we can learn from the past, but we we live in the past. We can never change our lives because our past cannot be changed. We cannot change the past. Mm-hmm. If we live in the future too much, we can't change the future unless we change what we do in the present. So the only time we can change the future is change the present. So so when we stay right. present, and then take a take a good assessment of like what what do I have? What I'm? Who am I? What are my strengths? And just start with that and work with those things, then we can start taking action to change our future. So stay in the present, looking to the future.